Craig Phipps with uh, KSA Engineers. I've actually been with KSA for 23 years and I am the director of our aviation services. As an engineering consulting firm, it's our job to analyze technical information and share the knowledge we've acquired from years of designing successful projects. This information addresses relevant industry issues aviation leaders face every day. You probably get it as well, the question of how much will my runway support. Yeah, today was a uh, technical information presentation to the Texas Department of Transportation Aviation Division related to ACN, PCN calculations for uh, airport pavement street. We know that this runway is rated for a PCN flexible of 28. Are you guys familiar with ACN and PCN? A PCN is, is, a, uh, is a pavement classification number and essentially it, it is a single value based upon whether you have a flexible pavement or rigid pavement, what kind of condition it is, or is ACN is related to the aircraft itself. And it's, it's related to the weight of the aircraft, tire pressures, etc. And if the ACN is less than the PCN, then, then you can land and operate at the airport. If an airport can tell you what the PCN is, then they can tell you it's a flexible pavement, they can tell you what your CBR value is, they can give them the relative information. That they I think the, the, the most important thing to take away from this meeting is, is that as of right now, in terms of GA airports in Texas, we don't really have an apples to apples comparison of pavement strength to, to aircraft that operate on, on the runway. With the AC and PCN method, it is more of an apples to apples comparison where, where airport managers are able to tell pilots, yes, I can support your aircraft or no, I cannot. If it says R, written, then it should automatically. Yes, typically, yes. But well, there's, there's a good give and take between TxDOT and the consultants, and so there's a lot of sharing of information, uh, sharing of past experience, and so I think in terms of, of the AC and PCN, it's, it's something that's, that's relatively new for GAs. It's something that's been out for a while internationally, and I think it's a good application uh, for TxDOT to look at in terms of their general aviation reports. This is one of the many ways KSA gives back to the aviation community. Without this exchange of information, we will never progress. For information about scheduling a technical information presentation from one of our aviation experts, contact KSA today.